Just like so many countries around the world, Portugal gets lots of tourists looking for some amazing sights and to have some new experiences they couldn't have anywhere else. However, Portugal is known for actually not having that many things to do or being very underwhelming, so why shouldn't you visit? Well, stay tuned because today we are going to discuss reasons to never visit Portugal. First up, awful rock formations. Whilst visiting some really cool rock formations might be an amazing holiday or trip destination for some, Portugal happens to have some of the worst rock formations. They do look really cool in photographs and on video, but actually traversing them is a very different story. Most of the major rock formations that have become tourist attractions are some of the worst ways to spend a day. They are awful to walk across and really easy to fall over on. Just from images you can tell that there is an injury coming for anyone who walks a little weird. Also, if you have any sort of movement disability think again about heading to these locations. You just aren't going to get into the formation on your own. Next are the tiny beaches. When you think of an amazing travel or holiday destination, beaches always come to mind. Whilst you might think that Portugal would have some amazing beaches and some nice places to hang out near the water, you might have to think again. In fact, Portugal has some really awful and really small beaches that just aren't worth your time at all. If you want to spend some time on a beach, go somewhere tropical or even to a resort. Don't waste your time heading off to Portugal for that sort of life. Portugal really isn't a great place if you want a nice relaxing holiday. As you will see with our next reason, the streets are crowded. Photos of Portugal's streets might show that they are heavily crowded, which makes for a nice photograph. So, what is wrong with them? People think that this is just for the photograph and it isn't always like that, but you would be wrong. Because of the way Portugal's streets are mainly designed, they are actually really cramped and crowded. They are a pain to walk around and will cause you even more inconvenience because of the pandemic. The beaches are always full. We may have already talked about the beaches in Portugal, but if you were to actually head to one, you would still be disappointed. So, what are they like? Just like the city streets in Portugal, the beaches are also super full all the time. Because they are so small, small and narrow. They are naturally very full even if only a small number of people decide to go to them. Whilst they may look really appealing in photographs and on the internet, the reality of it all is that you won't be moving around much if you go there on holiday. If you like to swim, don't go to Portugal. Here is another thing that photographs on the internet tell you about Portugal if you look close enough. Images of beaches show them as really cramped and just not nice at all. However, there are actually some nice beaches that people talk about swimming nearby. These beaches may look amazing on Instagram and so does the water, but the reality is much different. These waters are actually really hard to swim in because of how small they actually are. This water isn't deep at all. They may make a nice Instagram post now and again, but in terms of your own enjoyment, you probably won't be having much. Stay tuned because the second half of this video gets really interesting. And next up, bleak islands. Whenever you look into countries like Portugal, one thing you might end up finding are images of some really weird looking islands that are just off the coast of the major areas in the country. Whilst these areas might seem nice in an image, you really shouldn't go to them. The images romanticize them and make them look way better than they actually are. Color correction and editing make them look way cooler. But in reality, they are just really bleak rocks that happen to be declared as islands. If you went there you would have about 5 minutes of fun and then would be heading back to the mainland. It's just not worth it when the reality is so bleak. There are nice looking villages, but nothing to do. It seems like we have found a theme in Portugal, and that's images making it look way better than it actually is. You may have seen some images going around of some really cool and nice looking villages in Portugal. The funny thing is that even though most images are edited to look better nowadays, these villages do actually look as they seem. Night shots of Portugal's small villages are glorious, but there is one small problem with them. The fact is that there is really nothing to do in these small villages. You might head to a small bar and have a drink, but these places really have nothing to offer at all, which is really sad. They look amazing on the outside, but for a tourist there is basically no reason to head into them once you have grabbed that Instagram shot. So, what about the local delicacies? One huge reason to visit small towns and areas in places like Portugal is the local delicacies. So many people come back from a trip and talk about how amazing the local dishes are. This could really be from anywhere, but Portugal has a problem with these. So what is it? The local dishes really aren't a thing. There just doesn't seem to be anything worth eating either. The food is an acquired taste and so many people come back talking about how boring the local dishes were. It's a shame, because it's one of the things people look forward to, but I guess there is no point when in Portugal. The penultimate reason, it's too hot. This one is definitely an acquired taste because heat isn't for everyone. So, what about the heat? Well, the problem with the heat in Portugal Portugal is that it's
it's just a little too much and a little too humid. When some people think of a nice hot place they think of Miami or Los Angeles, but in reality, other places don't have this sort of heat. Heat is a problem in places like Portugal as it gets very humid and very uncomfortable sometimes. This is another reason why a holiday goer really shouldn't be heading off to Portugal. If you are really looking for heat, you might want to look into another place for your vacation. And finally, way too many fish. And the final reason to never visit Portugal is the fish food. If you like fish then you might actually want to go to Portugal as the majority of food there is fish based. For people who aren't the biggest fan of fish or just don't want to only eat it, then you really shouldn't go to Portugal. Most dishes you will be served in restaurants are fish or seafood based. This is obviously because of where Portugal is located. But for people who don't really like that sort of food, it's a no-go. You can obviously get other food. But if you are going on holiday and to a new place for the food and delicacies, it looks like Portugal isn't the place to go to. Portugal has some really cool places to visit don't get me wrong, and it really won't be that bad if you decide to go on holiday. But think about this list before you make your choice. For people who really hate everything we spoke about on this list, Portugal just isn't the place to head to. If you really want a nice beach or a nice place to chill out at don't go here. Spend your money elsewhere or look into other places to possibly go to. Portugal is definitely a nice place to go for some. Just remember, some places aren't for everyone, and this list shows you some of the worst parts of Portugal. Take everything into consideration before choosing Portugal as your next holiday destination. Otherwise you might just regret your expensive decision. Hopefully you enjoyed this new video. If you did please let us know in the comments below. Please make sure to like the video, comment down below and maybe turn on notifications to the channel. Thanks for watching.